finding where the fallow bucks are isn't hard because they, if they're rutting, are constantly groaning. But knowing where to set up a hide, well, that's another story. You're looking for a rutting stand, and here is one. It's an area of ground about five to ten metres across that has been worn completely bare by the constant scraping and trotting of the buck's hooves. And the branches of the spindly tree in the centre have been scraped clean of bark where the buck has been rubbing his antlers. And also, the scent glands at the base of his eyes. If I was a fallow deer, this place would be reeking of a mature male. This is a good place to stake out. Once you've found a rutting stand, move away at least 20 or 30 metres, making sure the wind is blowing from the stand to you. Deer have got very sensitive noses. They'll pick up a human scent. And then find a good tree to camouflage your outline. Settle down with your back to it. And sit and wait. Now this is fine if you want to watch deer, but if you want to film or photograph them, the equipment can really stand out. Unless, of course, you build a hide. Use whatever natural material comes to hand. Fallen branches and twigs are great to build a roughly triangular structure using a good-sized tree as a support at the back. Bracken adds the finishing touch to the hide and your camera gear. But if you can't find any bracken, just about any light, dense vegetation will do. Then sit quietly and wait for the action to start. Even if you do hear a deer calling elsewhere, don't be tempted to try and follow it. Be patient and wait in your hide. Eventually, you will almost certainly be rewarded with fabulous views and at the same time, you can be sure that you're causing no disturbance whatsoever. What a sight. If you want to watch the fallow deer rut, well click on the button down on the bottom right and do remember to subscribe so we can get in touch with you and let you know what's new on the channel. See you soon. <laughs>